Hi, I'm Nada with Smoking Cigar Girl, and today I'll be reviewing the San Luis Rey Serie G Maduro Churchill. It's a 7x58 cigar with a Connecticut Broadleaf Maduro wrapper, Connecticut Broadleaf binder, and Nicaraguan filler. The wrapper is uh, very dry and toothy. The smell of the cigar is uh, very earthy. And the cold draw is very earthy with some uh, notes of cocoa. There's some notes of sweetness and woodsy flavors on the front of the palate, and uh, there's some uh, spicy and woodsy flavors on the finish. I'll be back in a few minutes to discuss the first third of this cigar. The first third of this cigar has had a lot of earthy and leathery flavors on the front of the palate. Every once in a while I've got a little bit of sweetness, uh, like a fruity flavor, a black cherry maybe. And the finish has been mostly earthy with some notes of wood. The draw on this cigar has been great so far, and the burn started off mostly even, uh, though it's starting to go a little bit more unevenly now, but we'll see how it continues to go. The second third of the cigar still has a lot of uh, earth and leather on the front of the palate, but I'm not getting that sweetness anymore that I was getting earlier on. The finish has a lot of woodsy flavors with a little bit of pepper. The draw is still uh, good, but it's not producing as much smoke as it was earlier. And the burn is uh, starting to get a little bit more uneven now in the second third. The final third of this cigar has had a lot of peppery flavors on the front of the palate with a little bit of earth. And the finish has been uh, pretty peppery with a little bit of woodsy notes in there as well. The burn, I had to actually... Uh, uh, fix up a little bit with the lighter and it's uh, starting to mostly even out now towards the end. The ash on this cigar has been a beautiful white ash the whole way through and it's held on pretty well. The draw has been uh, pretty good from start to finish and once I uh, lit up the cigar a little bit more and fixed the burn issues it's producing a nice white pl uh, thick plume of smoke again. The cigar has been a medium to full strength cigar and a medium to full bodied cigar as well. So it's probably a good after-dinner smoke, something to smoke in the evening. The cigar would go well with a smooth drink uh, to counteract the woodsy and peppery flavors. So a creamy dark beer or a non-spicy wine would go very well with this cigar. I'd like to thank Sonoran Scout for requesting this cigar. If you have any cigars you'd like to see me review in the future, or if you have any comments on this review, I'd love to hear from you.